the tail it is chasing Cause the end it is eating Don't bring the light to all life Justifying the fight And bring freedom to you Rainbow Decay, signalling the end of the age of Pisces. Glastonbury, England, is known for its iconic tour and its New Age hippies, and for its popular music festival. It is a primary centre for New Age thinking, attracting pilgrims from around the world. Michael Malek is an esoteric researcher, whose interests include New Age mythology, revisionist astrology, and art interpretation. He was struck by the stir which Jesse War's Rainbow Decay series of paintings were causing in Glastonbury and wanted to uncover the cause of the fervour surrounding them. He conducted a series of interviews with people he chose for their various specialisations and general understanding of New Age mythology. What is it about Jesse War's Rainbow Decay that is so significant to the ending of the Age of Pisces? Well, as a rabbi in the New Age, Jesse War's Rainbow Decay has two significance for me. One, in context of Judaism and Kabbalah, it depicts the promise of the rainbow shown to Noah after the flood. Two, it relates to the New Age. It signals God's promise is transcending into a new spectrum. And this has never been more evident than now, with the imminent redemption in relation to the shift into the Age of Aquarius in 2012. From a psychological perspective, is there any validity to the ancient prophecies of what will happen in 2012? I think we have to actually understand history a little bit to answer that question. From my point of view, you can't deny writings on stones, we don't understand any of these things, but I don't actually think that it meant the end of the world as in the end of the world. I think it did mean the end of one kind of world to move on to another kind of world. Claire, what were your initial impressions of Rainbow Decay? Jesse Wall's Rainbow Decay reveals art as being born of nature. What is revealed is something that not even the artist himself knows. He has to trust nature. He's trusting the process. It's the lack of contrivance is in fact a, a very deep statement in the manifestation of Rainbow Decay is, is quite magical. Jesse's got his lovely paintings of the wall and all the other artists who came to have a look were very impressed. Jesse's been very clever at producing something which kind of has a natural progression. It just happened because of the humidity and the paint kind of cracked. But he must have had some plan because he's got other colours behind. So you get this lovely background with this cracked eggshell-like effect. Now Sharon, is it heretical to believe that there is a new rainbow emerging in the age of Aquarius? Absolutely Michael. We are now looking at a totally new spectrum. You know, we're being channeled through, the rainbow might totally disappear. We will get other forms of colours emerging, maybe across other shapes in the sky, maybe in clouds. But this could be the last chance that we have to see the rainbow. What is the mystical significance of the rainbow? Well, the rainbow is shown to uh, Noah after the flood. The flood lasted 40 days and 40 nights. And the reason for the flood was because since creation, the world had become corrupt. God was offering Noah, mankind, and the whole of creation a new start. And each canvas in itself is complete, really. It has its own character. The red, the beauty of the red, the decay in the red, the red canvas is perhaps personally my favourite. The yellow and the green. The, the orange is undeveloped as yet. The blue is raised in 3D in effect, but it's not meant to be the individual. It's, it's meant to be the synthesis of the whole. 
and the the indigo is the most interesting. Jesse Ward declined to be interviewed, but issued the following statement. It is my desire that Rainbow Decay should communicate the truth, that Noah's promise was for all people, and that the Torah is a story of the pharaohs. That Moses was the Akhenaten. It is only when humanity accepts this that it can rejoin under a universal understanding of common heritage, and that ideological divisions should serve progress and not be allowed to fester in Puritanisms. Knowledge is not the enemy, although secrets can be useful. Fruit is the most valuable gift bestowed by the tree of knowledge, and knowledge offers us the truth that a fruitarian diet can free humanity from debt. Rainbow decay is transmutation into a new spectrum. Indigo children work outside the crumbling paradigm, resist stigma, and create new beauty. Crucifixion and guilt hold no sway over us. Our revolution is ongoing and unstoppable. It's to do with trusting in providence. It's the courage of the artist, in this case Jesse, to allow the rainbow to finally end. They're very interesting, poignant pieces. Jesse War is using that same ideology of the, of the rainbow as being as a sign for the world that we are now going into a, um, a new era of, uh, of peace. It's the last piece of art of the Age of Pisces. The artist, always in an intuitive sense, seemed to have got there a long time before the general population. Rainbow Decay celebrates the end of the Age of Pisces, an era marked by profound turbulence in the dream of humanity. 2012 marks the transition into the new Age of Aquarius, when humankind will finally wake from its restless slumber. The promise of the rainbow has been kept, but it is now decaying into a new spectrum, one which has yet to be identified.